and his strategy for trust against his targets. But, uh, and maybe he has 20 of his Arabic, Chinese words, maybe 50 candidates for every of his targets, which should be studied. But you have to realize that the process will be very long if it is uh, if it's entering the same pathway of legal trials that is, is used nowadays. You have to realize that yes, that 5% of European patients with cancer are under clinical trials. And it's uh, made probably less, uh, the same amount of any less in the United States and probably even less here in China. The duration between the beginning of the trials and the access of the drug of the market is in the good cases of five years and in the average of eight years. So the process would be extremely long and we have to speed this process. And one interesting so we need to change the methodology of legal drug trial. We need to do methodologies, we need to go fast with combination. We need a new classification of tumors and I will focus my talks on better definition of targets and in a tumor tumor dissection with a new genomics where we also need and where we have maybe not had time to detect that. We need new criteria to assess what is the responding patient and we need new tools like functioning imaging, proteomics and new biomarkers. Uh, that we can obtain during the sequence of the trials. So, let's start by trying to understand the complexity of tumor cells, and this is achieved by a new discipline which we call translational research. It is how to bind to a clinical hospital all the knowledge and technology raised from basic, from basic laboratories and try to rapidly and cleverly translate this knowledge, those technology, those concepts to diagnosis and treatment of cancer patients. And I would like to share with you some data showing you that at least some human tumors are already now a mixture of tumors. We should probably receive different treatment and explain why giving the same treatment to all patients is probably uh, an endless story because we are mixing tumors and we are giving treatment which is probably efficient in some patients but more surely inefficient in many other patients. I will take as a fair example melanomas. You know that melanomas can be a very aggressive tumors and the incidence worldwide is increasing in the last 50 years in all countries, including China. And it's uh, becoming a very, a very common tumor, and the treatment of adverse melanoma is still very disappointing. And we don't do any efficient treatment of metastatic melanoma, and less than 10% of melanoma, melanoma patients with metastasis we will not survive at five years. We have very few prognosis criteria allowing to, uh, to, uh, to degrade the malignancy of the tumors. And you know that the best criteria is still the Preslow index, which measure the uh, in millimeters the depth of the